it's just the fourth league game of the season. But Eric Ten Hag has been at Manchester United long enough to realize the stakes. After losing two of the first three games, a trip to newly promoted Southampton is the kind of banana skin that is generally a blemish on a flawless run. For Manchester United, however, it is looking like a stair from a deep well to climb out of which needs to start with a win here. Champions League qualification is paramount and United haven't lost on an away trip to St Mary's Stadium for the last 15 games. Here's the Southampton versus Manchester United prediction, match breakdown and starting lineup as the season's kickstart is now long overdue. Let's look at the match breakdown. Right off the bat, even though it is an away game, Russell Martin's style of play at Southampton makes them an ideal opponent for what Eric Ten Hag wants to do with his Manchester United squad. That is because Southampton like to dominate possession and have uncompromising ideals of building from the back. In their three Premier League games so far, they have finished with 78%, 65% and 64% possession respectively. Those three games have returned zero points, as teams like Nottingham Forest went to St Mary's Stadium, conceded possession, defended in a low block, hit them on transitions and won out in the end. Ten Hag has remained intent on making United press from the front, so the opportunity to create high turnovers is right for the taking here. Of course, that means the front four will have to work extremely hard. In defence, Southampton have often had sterile possession when teams are happy to let them take the ball in positions that are not dangerous. But that might not happen versus United if Ten Hag's men press high and leave spaces behind, so that's something to look at and be aware of. Finally, United's three league games have been a story of wasting chances coming back to haunt them. In the league, United have underperformed their expected goals by almost three goals, which would have likely given them at least one more win than they have now. Southampton is where that rut needs to end, otherwise the Saints are looking to break out of a rut of their own and won't show any mercy at the slightest hint of vulnerability. United have started every game well because the adrenaline coursing through the veins at the start helps them press better and play proactively. That has not been converted to an early goal in any game, which is something they would want to change here. It is even more important because an early goal will take the sting out of the home fans who are itching for a victory at their ground since promotion. On the contrary, if the first goal is scored by Southampton, whenever that is, St Mary's will feel like a cauldron as the underdogs will eye a major scalp for their first league win. Expect United to start well, finally take their chances and then let Southampton have sterile possession, opening up chances on transition for their pacey wingers. Today, Manchester United will be desperate to recover from consecutive defeats and pick up all three points against Southampton. Losing 3-0 to Liverpool at Old Trafford before the international break was a deflating defeat considering how excited fans were for this season coming into the campaign. This result followed the 2-1 defeat to Brighton which leaves Manchester United now sitting 14th in the table with a goal difference of minus 3 already. Cristiano Ronaldo has also been speaking about the problems at United, stating Eric Ten Hag needs to listen to Ruud van Nistelrooy. Ten Hag has dismissed the criticisms entitling Ronaldo to his opinions, but now heading into game week four, nothing but a win will suffice as United look to recover and begin re-establishing Champions League qualification ambitions. So we take a look at how we think Eric Ten Hag's lineup will look to do that against Southampton. Good. The international break is over and so now the Premier League returns and for Ten Hag it comes with positive team news. Having such bad injury luck over the past year, the United manager will be delighted to not have any new concerns and also that Manuel Ugarte is available for selection. Ten Hag confirmed Luke Shaw and Rasmus Hojlund are both still out with Lenny Yoro and Tyrell Malaysia also still out. Here is how we predict United to line up against Southampton. In goal, there is little doubt that it will be Andre Anana who starts, despite Paul Scholes' criticisms over the last few days. The Cameroonian enjoyed the international break with a great reception from United fans in Uganda, but now needs to put in a better display than we have seen in the past two games. Moving into the defence, Misa Mazaroi will be fresh for this Saturday after being rested by Morocco for their second international fixture. United's number three, Mazaroi, was excellent in their 4-1 win earlier in the break and will hope to continue in this vein on Saturday. Starting as the right centre back should be Matijis De Ligt, who's coming off a horrific international break with Holland. He will hope for a better second start than his first in which De Ligt was poor, despite the midfield hanging him out to dry. 
starting alongside De Ligt will be Lissandro Martinez, but like his centre-back partner, he needs to do better. Martinez is among the world's best when he is in form and he just needs to get back to this, we expect he will. Completing the back four will be Diogo Dalot, with no natural senior left back available yet. Dalot has the most ball wins in the league so far this season, continuing his stellar form from the 2023-24 season. The man everyone wants to see in action is Manuel Ugarte, and according to Eric Ten Hag, he will be in contention this weekend. After impressing for Uruguay, Ugarte could be a really impactful addition to this team, so we expect he will be thrown straight in. Kobe Mainu appeared for England over the international break but was rested against Finland, so he should be ready to go here. Mainu will be delighted to have Ugarte in the team next to him to ease the defensive requirements on him. Bruno Fernandes was yet another United player who shone brightly during the international break for Portugal, however, he has been rather underwhelming for United this season so far, so hopefully this can act as a catalyst. Ten Hag rather harshly dropped Ahmad Diallo for the game against Liverpool, but Ahmad's cameo was better than any of his teammates' display, so we imagine he will be thrust back into the starting lineup here against Southampton. The final player to enjoy a successful international break was Joshua Zerxi, as the Manchester United number 11 scored for Holland. He will hope to add to his one goal this season here and make a real statement ahead of Hoagland's return. The final name on the team sheet is one which many fans will not be thrilled with, but we think it will and should be Marcus Rashford over Alejandro Garnacho. Rashford put in extra training over the international break and he was also quite decent against Liverpool so deserves to start ahead of Garnacho, who can afford to be rested anyway. As we head into the fourth Premier League game of the season, the pressure is on Eric Ten Hag of Manchester United. After losing two of the first three games, the trip to Southampton feels like more than just another game, it's a crucial chance to get back on track. Southampton may be newly promoted, but this is no easy task, they've been struggling too, but that makes them even more dangerous, especially in front of their home crowd. United can't afford another slip-up, especially with Champions League qualification on the line and a busy run of games ahead. St. Mary's hasn't been a problem for United in recent years with 15 unbeaten trips there, but every game is a new challenge. Southampton's possession heavy style could play right into United's hands. The Saints dominate the ball but struggle to convert that into points, while Ten Hag's high pressing approach could create chances for United to capitalise on turnovers. The key will be taking those chances, something United have failed to do in their first three games, despite creating plenty. With Manuel Lugada ready to make his Premier League debut, and the likes of Bruno Fernandes and Joshua Zerxi fresh off good international performances, this is the perfect moment for United to hit the reset button. And while the injury list still includes key players like Luke Shaw and Rasmus Hoyland, there's more than enough quality in the squad to get the job done. Southampton's fans will be up for it, and an early goal from them could make things tough, but if United can strike first, it could be the perfect opportunity to silence the crowd and take control. So what do you think? Man, will this be the game where United finally turn things around? Let us know your thoughts on the lineup and the result in the comments below. We predict a 2-0 win for the Reds, do you agree?